Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Delhi Tarot and these are your monthly readings for the sun, moon and the rising sign of Sagittarius. Sagittarius, please keep in mind that this is your monthly reading for the month of October 2022. My apologies for doing the reading so late this time and this is a group reading so please pick it up what resonates with you, please leave the rest for others and you know very well that in case you wish to connect with me for a personal private reading which is a prepaid reading, pre-booked, pre-slotted, pre-purchased reading, please connect with me on the email ID and the website mentioned in the description box below. And if you really like what I do on the channel, please do like, subscribe the channel and put on your notifications. Now I'm going to do a very, very detailed reading weekly and I'm also going to read for week one because we are still, uh, you know, we are still left with two to three days in the first week of October. So let us see your energies and it is door to value. That means a great income is expected, money, flow, opportunities which are going to give great money, good money to you for sure. I'll come back to this card just in a moment. Let me see what are your angel messages. What are your angel messages for the month of October 2022? And we have the peaceful resolution. That's a lovely beginning of the month October 2022. Let me also see the weeklies now. Let me also see the weeklies. Let me also see the weeklies. Week 1 you have Emphony. Week 2 you have the King of Ariel. Week 3 you have the Moon. And week four, you have the chariot. My goodness, three major arcana cards showing a great forward movement, great professional success, great financial success for sure. It's a great month for you, Sagittarius people. The month of October going to bring a lot of good things to you for sure. Let me also now clarify all the weeks. Clarifying all the weeks with tarot. Week 1 is page of wands, a message, a phone call. Again related to work, career, professional life and business. Primarily. Week 2 you have 7 of wands, presence of your own energies. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Week 3 you have, oh my goodness, 6 of wands. Too much of your own energy this time. Your This particular month has a specific, a very specific focus on money, career and finances. Though this is a general reading for the month. But it seems that it is all about materialistic gain, money flow, financial flow, opportunities, profits and gains during this time. And look at your card. Nine of Pentacles. Wish fulfillment. Again Pentacle. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy benefits on the materialistic side of your life okay it's a great reading indeed now if i see your energies and your uh, angel messages you are not going to just get a peaceful resolution you are going to get one of the best resolution to the problem to the chaos to the challenges or obstacle you are going through sagittarius people peaceful resolution is is something which is going to give you great satisfaction ahead, is going to give you great comfort and it is also going to give you great peace of mind. Whatever concerns are going on into your mind, whether it is related to personal life, professional life, the resolution is going to satisfy you completely and is going to really boost up your energies to look forward into your life for sure. Now if I see your Week 1, it says joy through spiritual growth, be a light to others, answers that comes through meditation. Here the meaning of meditation is your inner voice, your gut feeling, your wisdom. You connecting with yourself is going to give great connect to you in all aspects and it is clarified by page of wands which means whatever message, update, change, 
you are expecting for your problem, for your concern, you are going to get the relevant message, email, phone call related to it. And this could be any aspect of your life for that matter. Week two, you have King of Ariel, which says your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success using resources wisely. Now, when I say resources here, it is time, it is money, it is energy, it is space. How you are spending your energy on your things, how you are investing your money, how you are using each and every resource in your life is going to decide the fate of your professional and financial success and financial visibility in your life ahead. And you have seven of wands here, which means there are situations which you are taking it to be upfronting. You are thinking that something is against you. Something is not in favor of you. And show that while you are defending yourself here, you are not getting too judgmental about things. You are in a, in a very neutral and a non-judgmental space. But seven of wands is definitely a tough situation at workplace. It could be a feeling that people are against you, people are not in favor of you, whether they like your work, whether they are against you. It's a very normal and a natural state. However, when you will not react, it is important for you to respond calmly and peacefully. Do not react to any situation because in the coming week, you have six of wands, which says no matter the situation is against you, no matter how much there is a competition, no matter how much people are not in favor of you, it is you who is going to win that competition. It is you who is going to win that argument. It is you who is going to win that process. So six of wand is a clear card of a win, triumph or a victory over any difficult situation in your life. However, you're completely, your, your reading this time is tilted completely towards your professional success and professional focus. So six of wands is a beautiful energy and you will cross the state of confusion, the dilemma in week three. It says the opportunity to improve your plans, listen to your intuition for accurate guidance, face your fears and grow stronger. The more you are going to face your fear, the more you will see that you are witnessing yourself to be extremely stronger and extremely powerful towards this win, triumph and victory. Now, your week four, October month, is actually one of the best month for you in this year and it shows the chariot, which says determination and self-control, career advancement, acknowledgement of success by others. This is you being praised by everybody around you and look at the number seven. Seven is not just a spiritual number, but seven is also a number of abundance growth, but you do have a lot of you know, a lot of angel numbers into your reading. I'm just going to read these angel numbers in a while. And this is being clarified by Nine of Pentacle. Nine of Pentacle is a card which is closest to Ten of Pentacle. Near wish fulfillment. Near something very strong. A dream house, a dream home, a great money. Some jackpot. You're going to receive it for sure. So the month of October will go nicely but it is going to give you something big something huge something massive to celebrate for very very long now before i move forward to other cards let me see your angel number 997 i'm getting one more angel number with this 997 and it says you are on the right path by focusing upon a spiritual purpose that involves teaching the principle of divine love. So that's a message with 997. And you do have the angel number 769. Let me see the message related to 769. And it says everything is working out very well for the fruition of your spirituality based career and life purpose. Now if you see both the messages, you have two number common. 9 is common. And seven is common. Both the numbers are talking about spiritual growth, spiritual intervention and alignment of your career with your personal goals. That too into spirituality. So you need to see, is it making any sense to you? Are you able to resonate with this, these messages? 
because both the messages are talking about a spiritual career or a spiritual based career align with your personal life goal you need to see whether it is going well with you or not because this is a group reading you need to take it accordingly okay now let us see what messages are we getting from crystal deck which crystal will be good for you lucky for you during the month of october and what is going to be the crystal message for you and we have the ruby light it says passion and purpose now look at the message I think you have a very strong message that something you need to align yourself spiritually, especially career-wise, because that is going to raise your bar, the bar of your life, the quality of your life, the quality of your life purpose up to a great extent. It says your enthusiasm gives you energy and motivation to work on a meaningful project that is dear to your heart. It's time for you to align your passion and purpose together into career. Though this is a general tarot reading, but... I am getting a huge sense that this is so much money career finance focused reading. So much of money career finance is coming into this reading. Now let me see what is your message from Archangel Michael this time. And what is the prayer he is supposed to give it to you with the help of this card. Let us see what message do we have. What message do we have from Archangel Michael for you. And we have the message is you created the situation and you have the power to change it. You know what is the situation. And your prayer is thank you for letting me lean on your strength and for reminding me of my personal power. Please guide me to manifest and heal accordingly to divine will, creating peace and blessings for everyone involved in this situation. So that's a wonderful Lovely reading, a life-changing reading for you, Sagittarius people. Do let me know how you resonated with it. I will see you next time very soon. Be blessed.